Alan Sir Commander here again. This is my Colt Official Police 38 Special that I just finished the bluing project on a few days ago. You may have seen the other video that I did. Anyway, th this being the first revolver that I've ever taken apart and done a bluing job on, I was quite intrigued when I took the cover off of it just to understand a little bit better what's going on inside there. So I thought I might share a little bit of that with anybody out there that either doesn't have a revolver or doesn't have one that they necessarily want to take apart and just kind of show what the action is doing inside there. I don't know the names of all the parts in there, but so mostly what I want to do is just show the action and what's going on and so you can just have a better feel of that. So what I'll do is first I'll pull it back into single action mode. And One thing, this, this spring back here, this sort of wishbone spring is putting the tension on everything and it comes all the way up through here and into this piece they call the hand and when I cock it back you can see the hand go up and it rotates the cylinder around so it's cocked back and you can kind of see in there where the, the top that tang on the trigger engages I believe that's called the sear but uh, someone can correct me if I'm wrong and when we pull the trigger it releases everything and let go of the trigger and it resets again I'm going to pull the hand off of there just to get a better feel and since I'm pulling that off of there there's no tension on the trigger so I'm going to hold the tension on the trigger as I cock it back into single action mode again so I'm cocking it back and there it goes into place again you can see right there where it's engaging and I'll pull the trigger back and release it again and again there's no spring so I'll reset it. Now if I pull it back in double action mode the tang catches here on this tang that's pivots down from the hammer assembly here. So I'll try to do that as slow as I can to show it up to the point where it breaks. And there we go. And manually reset the trigger. And I'll do that one more time. Try to get even a little bit closer. And manually reset it again. And while I'm up close here, let's go into single action mode. Engaged, and we will pull the trigger. Anyway, that's the activity that's going on inside of your revolver. Hopefully, that was interesting to somebody, or at least a few people. It was a bit interesting to me just to understand a little bit more how it works. Please leave any comments or questions you may have, and thank you for watching.